Good afternoon, Katrina. Sally here from Launceston Economy Cars. Now, I know when I was speaking to you earlier today, you were not quite sure that you wanted to come to Launceston for cars. Now, I can appreciate that. What I thought I'd do is at least shoot you a video so you can see our car in a bit more detail than just photos on the website. So, as you can see here, it's a 2011 Nissan Tita, automatic, only has 119,000 Ks. The other good thing is it's got registration until June next year, so plenty of reg. What I'm going to do now is take you around the vehicle and sort of show you a bit about it. As you'll see here, you know, there's no stone chips in the front of the vehicle, whether it be on the bonnet or whether it be on the front part of the car, so if it's very well maintained. As you'll see here, underneath the bonnet, neat, clean, very tidy, exceptionally well looked after, which is one of those things you always look for in a, in a good used car. Then around the side here, you'll see that there's plenty of tread on the tyres, so at least 60%. And as we also see here, body works good, there's no marks or scuffs on the mirrors, so very neat and clean. Now, inside the vehicle, I'm going to show you both the upholstery on the seats, which you'll see is very neat, clean, no holes, no tears, no stains, carpets the same way. Then you'll have the CD player up here, obviously the aircon and heater, and as I said before, it's the automatic. What I show you now is the service history. So the vehicle was originally a privately owned vehicle purchased down at Motors in Hobart, and sorry, in Devonport. And as you go through the book, you'll see that there's a, there's a good service history in all the vehicle. It's always been serviced down at Motors in Devonport. So it's easy to track the history of the vehicle. One thing that's quite surprising about the Nissan Tita is the fact that it's actually got quite a lot of space for a small car. So I'm about six foot two in the old scale, and as you'll see, I can get in the vehicle, plenty of space in my head and the back, so it won't be an issue. You don't have to worry about people sitting in the back and feeling cramped. And the same goes for actually in the back of the vehicle as well. So if you are sort of going away for a weekend, or you've got a big you know, grocery shop to do, you'll have plenty of space in the back. So cargo shield will come up, plus in the back here, you'll have uh, a full size spare as well, and tools. You also will notice the back seats will go down as well. So I'll just remove the cargo shield off that, and they fold down flat, which is always handy. Then we'll have around on the rear tyres, you'll have the same amount of tread on those ones as you'll find on the front. So as I was saying before, about 60%. Inside the vehicle here, you'll see on the driver's wheel, the ability to control the, um, the ability to control the uh, mental blank uh, cruise control, as well as the ability to control the, the music and the radio as well. and then you'll see all the controls on the, on the side of the door for the mirror and also the windows. No worries. Hopefully that'll help you out, Katrina. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to call. My number is 0448 737 096. And like I said, if you wanted to, we can always bring the car down to Hobart for you. Enjoy your afternoon.